Hi guys, welcome back to another. Oh. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to our channel, Gourmet Guru PH. My name is Mia. And I'm Isa. And we're here for yet another episode where it's all about everything tuna. Quarantine edition. For our first recipe today, we're doing tuna penny. So we'll start with some canned tuna that of course you'll drain. Alright, so you can set that aside. And then you're gonna wanna chop or slice rather some lemon. So before we slice the lemon, what we like to do is we like to roll the lemon so that all the juices come out. So you just need to use one hand rather and use the palm of your hand and push down like so. Alright, I think that's enough. Now let's put it on the chopping board, slice it in half, and now we're going to juice it. Once we've gotten all that lemon juice out, we can pour it all over our tuna just so that we get all of that fishiness out. Okay, so we're gonna mix it. We're gonna let that sit for about 30 minutes just to get that fishiness out. Now that we've let that sit, we're gonna put in some mayo, just about two spoonfuls, just so that we can coat the canned tuna so that it's not so dry. All right, now we're gonna put in some chopped onions and mix that over again. And then season with salt and pepper. Right, now we're ready to assemble. So you're gonna preheat the oven to 180 degrees. So now we're just gonna get the Pyrex and we're gonna start layering. So the order is gonna be chips, the tuna mixture, and then the cheese. And over and over again until you can fill it, all right? All right, now we're done assembling. We can stick it in the oven. All right, here's our, am I in the right frame? <laughs> Alright, so here's our tuna penny. It smells so good. So you can have this right away while it's still hot. And you can even eat it with rice for some of you who love rice like I do. So enjoy! Hi! We're making tuna tacos. And it's super easy. Today we're using canned spicy tuna, but you can use regular tuna in brine. So you'll need drained canned tuna, combine it with chopped onions, add chopped garlic, some olive oil, some red wine vinegar, did I say salt and vinegar, salt and pepper, <laughs> and salt and pepper. Put that aside. Now, not to worry if you don't have any tortillas at home or store-bought tortillas, we can teach you how to make it. So it's really simple. We'll start with some flour, and then you're gonna add a pinch of salt. You're gonna add a tablespoon of olive oil, and some of your water, and you need to add little by little. And this is really important because you don't wanna put too much water. But not to worry if you put too much water, you can always just add more flour or vice versa. So we're gonna start mixing that in our bowl. And once you get that dough-like consistency, we'll transfer it to our floured surface. So any counter will do. Just make sure to clean it and sprinkle it with a little flour. And we're gonna start kneading. So you're gonna wanna push away from you and then gather some of the dough and then pull it back towards you and fold it over and then repeat again. So you're gonna keep doing this until you have an almost smooth and soft dough. And then now we're gonna set it aside for about 10 minutes. Now you can just leave it in the bowl and then put the towel on top after just to protect it from any dust. I like to weigh the dough before I start portioning it just so that I know how much each portion should weigh so it's more or less equal. But don't worry, you can also eyeball it too. That's completely fine. So today I'm portioning it into six. And what we're gonna do is, we're gonna start rolling it out. So you need a lightly floured surface again with a rolling pin. And what you're gonna wanna do is, the way you roll this out is in a circular motion. So every time you roll out one edge, you're gonna wanna turn it a little, then roll again, and turn it a little, and roll again. How thin you want to roll out the dough to be is as thin as being able to see your fingers through the dough. So a hack to make it look round is we're gonna get a small bowl, just the size you want it to be. This is about like four or five inches wide. 
and you're gonna put it on top of the dough and then you're gonna push down start tracing the edges of the bowl so that you get that perfect circle so now that we're ready to cook our tortillas you're gonna need a non-stick pan over medium high heat and you're gonna want to heat up the pan for about three minutes before you put the tortillas down just so that it gets really toasty all right so now that the pan is heated we can start putting in one tortilla just to test first and see. Oh, I can see it bubbling already. Look at that. All right, now that we see that our tortilla is puffing up and you can kind of smell that it's toasty, which takes approximately one minute, we can flip it over. All right, now that the other side has gotten toasty too, we're ready to take it off the heat. Now that we've taken it off the heat, we're gonna want to immediately bend it in half and then put it on a baking rack, kind of like how you make some pie clothes, so that it retains that taco shell um, shape. And then you just let that cool and repeat it for all the other tacos and you're set to assemble. Take your homemade tacos, which we made earlier, taco shells, get your chopped greens, put that at the bottom, scoop some mixture of tuna, and then top that with some chocolate. And there you have it, your tuna tacos, taquitos in this case. It's perfect for Lenten Fridays or any day.